Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. In the 37th Infantry Commanders Conference which commenced from 14th to 15th November 2023 the Indian Army has showcased varieties of its newly inducted armored vehicles in which the most interesting one is Mahindra light specialist vehicle integrated with a mortar system the mahindra's light specialist vehicle which is also called armado has already entered into serial production the ministry of defense has signed a contract with mahindra defense systems in march 2021 which worth 1056 crore rupees for an order of nearly 1300 armored lsv to be used by indian army The Mahindra defense system is supposed to complete this order in next 4 years. The delivery of the first lot of the Armado has already commenced on 16th June 2023. The Mahindra LSV's key characteristics includes a powerful 3.2 liters 215 horsepower multi-fuel diesel engine with four or six speed automatic transmission 4x4 with front and rear differential locks 1000 kg of payload capacity Armado takes just 12 seconds to accelerate from 0 to 160 km per hour and runs at a speed of more than 120 km per hour The vehicle gets ballistic protection of up to B7 level and Stenag level 2 This means that its armor offer protection against armor piercing rifles The LSV gets protection on all sides that is that is uh, front side and rear from ballistic as well as explosive. The Mahindra LSV has also been modified to integrate Spanish 120 mm Alcaran mortar. The Alcaran is a dual system which means it can be integrated with 120 mm and 81 mm smooth bore or rifled mortars in a very simple operation. providing high firepower and making it a powerful tool for neutralizing the enemy targets the system's patented barrel cooling system allows for a sustained fire at a rate of 16 rounds per minute with no limit of time alcaran's software incorporates gis technology and features such as zonal shooting and multiple rounds or simultaneous impact functions which simplifies operations increases the mortar effect over the enemy lines the 120 mm alcaran mortar system has a range of up to 8.2 km this system is designed for rapid deployment and movement on the battlefield allowing for quick and efficient response to changing missions requirement this first class system can be integrated onto almost any 4x4 vehicle and its lightweight construction makes it suitable for helicopter deployment offering high mobility and ability to adapt to various environments it integrates with precise gps technology to give operator an accurate location making it ideal for the use in the battlefield it features a fully digital fire control system which again allows precise and accurate strike even in challenging terrain weather conditions and features automatic aiming and re-aiming after every shot ensuring high accuracy the mortar system remains inside the vehicle during trips and it is deployed from the rear of vehicle using an electromechanical actuator in few seconds it rests on the ground on a square base that stabilizes the platform and allows continuous firing at a maximum load without transmitting effort to the vehicle that transports it The system can be deployed in just 14 seconds. Aim target in next 10 seconds and then begin shooting rounds in next 5 seconds. It can nearly fire 8 rounds in next 39 seconds. The entire system can then retract in next 13 seconds. So, in summary, the system takes total of 1 minute and 16 seconds to deploy, shoot and then retract and move away. The system can also be airlifted using the MI-17 helicopters. The LSV integrated with the mortar system will greatly enhance the shoot and scoot capability of army 
and also improve this survivability in the battlefield. The army is looking for 50 Mahindra LSVs to be integrated with Alcaran motor system. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.